Hi friends, it's Deanna here today, and today we're going to be gathering. I love all things gathered. I love gathered tops, gathered dresses. I love everything gathered, but gathering can be a little bit of a pain sometimes. Well, I am going to show you how to gather with elastic, and it makes the whole gathering process super, super easy. The really cool thing about gathering with elastic is that a lot of times when you're gathering a dress, or a top that has a heavy bottom, you want to put a little bit of elastic on your waist for a little bit of more structure to the gown or to the um, top. And so when you gather with elastic, you already have your elastic at the waist. So you already have that stability that you need uh, with elastic. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, friends, for this tutorial, we need our bodice. We need our skirt or whatever it is that we're going to gather. We need something to hold our elastic on. We need our elastic and at this time I'm going to be using clear elastic but you can use any kind of elastic. Um, we need some scissors to trim and to mark our bodice. The first thing I like to do is I like to quarter my bodice and my gathered piece, my piece that I'm gathering, um, because when I quarter it, it's easier for me to go ahead and, and sew it on when I'm done uh, uh, gathering and all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my sides, these are my side seams, and I'm gonna go to the back and the front and mark, and I'm gonna do the same for my um, other piece. To quarter, I like to use a little notch. I just clip a tiny bit with my scissors, enough that I can see it when I'm going to sew them together, but not enough that you'll be able to tell at all when you, after you've done, done sewing. The next step is your elastic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure around my bodice. This is how wide I want my gathers to be. I'm gonna go around my bodice, and you can use a measuring tape first if you'd like. Uh, you don't pull your elastic, you just put it right on top and you measure all the way around your whole bodice. So I'm gonna do it twice because I'm going around the whole thing. You can measure it first if you want to, but I just go ahead and, and measure it like this. And then I add just like a little bit over so I can hold my elastic. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my elastic and mark it. So I know this is my first quarter point. I'm gonna go to my next quarter point and I'm going to mark right here. This is where my next quarter point is gonna be. And then I'm gonna do it again. Here's my half, my other quarter point. And then I'm gonna do it again right here. Mark it and then mark it. These guides are gonna help me when I'm going to gather my uh, bodice, I mean, sorry, my skirt. Um, I, you can either do it, mark it with your clips, you can put pins on there, you can mark it with like a permanent marker, I've done that before. You just want something that's gonna show you just exactly where you're going to go next. I always like to start right in the back middle. So I am going to pin right here with a different pin, not one I've already used. And we're gonna go over to my sewing machine and I'm going to attach this elastic by doing a zigzag stitch and I'm going to stretch my elastic all the way to that first quarter point that I marked on my piece to be gathered. So let's go over to the sewing machine and I'm gonna show you how just how I do that. All right, so my clear elastic's right on there, where that's where I'm gonna start. My needle is down. I'm set on a zigzag stitch on my uh, sewing machine. I'm going to put attach my elastic about a quarter inch from the edge. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch my elastic all the way to that first quarter point, which seems which is my uh, side seam. And what I'm gonna do is see how I already marked it with a pin, that's where it's supposed to go. Since this is such a long stretch, I'm going to mark it about halfway, so right here, and I'm going to go ahead and just put a pin there. And that's the first I'm going to do. So I like to go ahead and, though I already quartered it, I wanna give it a little bit more each time, that way it's not a whole long piece that I'm pulling at the same time. And then I'm just gonna pull and zigzag stitch this elastic on slowly and then go to my next point and my next point and on and on. 
as I am sewing it, I like to hold my part up top and guide it with my other hand so that it doesn't move on me too much. And then I keep going. At the end, I just overlap my elastic just a tiny bit with that extra elastic I had. And you could do a back and forth stitch. My sewing machine does a little knot at the end. And we have our gathers. So you can see that zigzag stitch gathers my, elast my uh, skirt and it gathers it all equally. And it's great for this little amount, but it's also really, really good for when you're doing a big gather skirt. So now all I have to do is put it right sides together with my bodice and attach. All right, so now our skirt is gathered. And the really cool thing is we already made quarter points to our skirt. So all we have to do is put it right sides together on our bodice. And we're going to match those quarter points that we already made to our bodice. And then we'll just go on our sewing machine, our serger, and sew those right on. No stretching, no worries about our gathers not being even, and we are done. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I was going to pin it, but I don't have all my clips here. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions. I hope this makes your gathering life a little bit easier. I know it does to me. Um, I hope you make a ton more gather tops and dresses because they are super cute. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time.